Hello friends, welcome back to Invest with Ara. Today we'll learn about uh, pulling option chain data of multiple stocks onto Excel spreadsheet. In my last video, we had actually designed a program to pull option chain data of a single stock onto Excel spreadsheet. So this program is a little bit an advanced version of that in which we'll be pulling option chain data of multiple stocks. So let's start. First is we go to NAC India website and we go to equity derivatives and we click option chain. So here you could see that Nifty's option chain data is visible here. So we'll copy the URL of Nifty and we'll paste it in cell 1 of column A with a prefix URL and semicolon and then we paste it here. This is URL of Nifty option chain data. Here we'll name the company as Nifty. Second, we'll take uh, another index, popular index that is Bank Nifty and we'll again copy the same URL and paste it with a prefix here and name the company as Bank Nifty. Let's take another stock, uh, say Reliance. I'll take Reliance here. Again, we copy and we paste it with a prefix URL and control V and name the company as Reliance. Let's take any other stock, uh, say Tech Mahindra. Then again copy and paste it in here with a prefix. We'll be actually taking five stocks. So this was our fourth and the fifth one, let's say SBI and State Bank of India. Okay, so this is the URL copy. We go over there. We put URL in prefix and we simply paste it with SBIN. So our first part of the program is complete. We have taken five stocks and we'll be pulling option chain data of this five stocks. Now comes the difficult part. So what we'll do here is first we'll go to NAC India website and We'll take the option chain URL of Nifty because it, it is our first stock. So we'll copy the URL and keep it. Now we'll go to Excel program. Now we'll be using macro. So for macro, you'll have to go to Excel options. And here you'll have to click on show developer tab in the ribbon. Develop, in the developer tab, you could use macro. So we'll click we'll select and we'll click OK. So you could see here the developer tab. Now when we click on developer tab, we could see a record macro tab visible and we'll simply click record macro and we'll name the macro as option pull. OK. Now the macro has started recording. So what are we going to do now is we'll go to data and we'll pull it from the web. We'll simply paste the URL of Nifty that we had copied here and we'll click go. We can see here a yellow box with an arrow. We have to click this yellow box. It turns into a green tick. Now we go to options and we select rich text formatting only and disable date recognition and we disable web query redirections as well and click OK. Now we click on import. Now we click on properties tab and we deselect this edges column width and click OK. 
now the macro is asking us to where to put the data to so we'll go to a new sheet and we'll select the first cell of column a as a desired output cell we'll click on ok so here we could see that entire option chain data of nifty is pulled onto excel spreadsheet we'll be editing this excel spreadsheet as it has raw data so here dash is actually zero on to nse india website but because of pulling it onto excel spreadsheet so it has turned into a dash we'll be changing it into zero first we'll delete these graphs charts will not be needing that we'll simply click and delete it now this entire thing is required so we'll try to merge it to the entire section so here it has been merged now we'll not be needing this so we'll delete this now we'll press Control plus A and select the entire spreadsheet and then press Control F and put a dash here and replace it with a zero and we'll click on replace all tab so here we could see that Excel has completed its search and has made 513 replacements this thing that we are doing actually helps us a lot while doing calculation so here it is this is another thing that you could do and again control A and select the entire spreadsheet and choose the style of comma so now you could see the entire raw data has been converted into usable data wherein you could use these data to formulate your own option strategies in nifty or you could make your own option price calculator or you could have those greeks calculated with these values you will not be having any frustration as to uh, an absurd value being taken by your excel program so this was uh, the add-on that we did on our excel spreadsheet now we go to sheet one now our program is almost complete so we'll go to developer tab and we'll stop the recording so the macro has been created now we need to edit the macro but before that we'll be doing some changes here first is we'll change this sheets name to options and because we will not be requiring sheet 2 and sheet 3, we will simply delete this entire sheet. Now we go to our macro and we edit that macro. Okay, this is our program that we had done. So now we will not be needing this, so we will simply delete this. So the here we will be doing some coding so please bear with me and type in the way the coding is being done. So first we will be defining a for loop for x equal to 1 to 5. Now this 5 is actually the number of stocks that we had considered to pull option chain data off. So here you could have 10, you could have 50, you could have 500 as well. But for that you'll have to make that Excel spreadsheet wherein you need to have those URLs of all those companies that you want to pull option chain data off. So we have taken 5 stocks, so 5 here. Now we'll select our options worksheet. So for that we'll, uh, we'll put the code worksheets. Uh, options dot select again we we'll need to activate that for that worksheets dot activate 
Now we'll be defining a string here. So the string is mistr and we'll put the same URL for nifty that we had copied with the prefix URL. I'll simply paste it and close. This mystr a string has to take values. So now we know that in column A on every cell we have defined URLs. So we want the program to take that URL values. So we will put define it as cells x comma 1, 1 indicating column A. So my string has taken the value which is stored in cell 1 of column 1. Every time the loop runs it's 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1 and 5, 1. Now we'll define another string dim str as string and we'll also be needing an integer so we'll define i as integer we'll define another for loop here we'll uh, put for i equal to x to x this for loop is to actually name your sheets so here we'll give str a value which is stored in column B. So str equals cells comma i comma 2 which indicates column B dot value. Now str has taken that value and will simply close the loop with next i. Now we come to our main part wherein we need to define addition of a worksheet so for that the program going code is worksheets dot add after colon equal to worksheets worksheets dot count dot name equals str so every time a worksheet is added it is named the current or the specific stock name. Now we do some changes here. Because we have already defined a string mystr so we only need to put here mystr here and destination range we have actually deleted sheet 2 so we will not be needing that here. Now coming down here we have selected sheet 2 so because we have deleted sheet 2 every time this program will give you an error so here we'll instead of taking uh, instead of putting sheet 2 we'll define the S string str the uh, stocks name now we further go down to the program Here we could see almost our entire program is complete. We only need to close the for loop with a next x. So here the first for loop of x is complete. Also here you could see that sheet 1 is being selected at the end of the program. But we, uh, because we have changed the name of sheet 1 to options so it will give you an error instead of putting anything here we'll simply delete this now our entire programming is complete here we'll be defining a button and uh, we'll assign the option pull macro to this button and click OK we'll rename the button to option pull So here our entire programming is complete. We only need to backtest the program. But before that we need to save it. So whenever we are saying a macro, we need to save it in that particular format. So we'll save as macro enabled workbook. We'll put the name as option 
multiple multiple stocks I'll save it on desktop so save so now is the time to backtest the program. We'll simply click it. Now here we could see that the Excel macro has pulled five stocks that is nifty bank nifty reliance tech mahindra and sbn's option chain data onto excel spreadsheet and that too in our required format so how about we cross check the entire value so we go here 10600 the ltp the last traded price of 10600 strike price was 176 now we go to 10600 here and the last traded price was 176 now we take another say Tech Mahindra and say we select 740 strike price its LTP is 53.3 on the put side so we go to Excel and we go to Tech Mahindra 740 and it is 53.3 so our data is verified and our program is working properly hope you might have liked this video please friends if you have liked this video kindly like share and subscribe i'll be putting an option price calculator of using these values but i need your support so please do like this video thank you